Hi everyone, it's Rachel Waite coming to you as promised, 2 p.m. UK time, hopefully 8 a.m. over in the States. I'm going to be doing a live healing session with the lovely Angela Hoover. I'm just seeing, um, waiting for her to pop on and see if I can add her to this live session. So just bear with me whilst um, she comes online. If you've not heard me um, before, you've not seen any of my live videos, I'm Rachel Waite. I'm a sound healer and energy practitioner and I help people um, with emotional, physical pain to um, release those things that are weighing them down um, so that they can find lightness, so they can find clarity, so they can find ease in their life again. And today, for the first time, I'm going to be joined by, um, do a distance healing session. So it's not going to be someone in the room with me. Um, it's going to be the lovely Angela, who is over in um, the States. I am just going to add her to the call, see if this works. I'm adding you, Angela. It says adding. And we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna have a chat first. To find ah, there you are. Hi. Hi. You okay? How are you? I'm okay. Can you hear me? Okay. I can. Can you hear me? Yes. You you sounding Hi. very loud and clear. Good morning to you over there. Good afternoon to you. <laughs> So thank you for agreeing to join uh, me on this live session. Um, this is the first time I've done a distance healing session live. So I'm really grateful that you uh, wanted to step up and, and help out with this and share some things as well. Um, I know you've got to go off to work, so I don't want to keep you for too long. But um, just perhaps just introduce yourself first, Angela, and let everybody watching um, find out a bit more about yourself as well, if you're okay to do that. Okay, I'll give you my elevator pitch. Go for I'm it. I'm Angela I'm an attorney in Tennessee, and I help people survive and thrive during and after a major relationship break by teaching them to incorporate spiritual tools like crystals and angels into their everyday lives and helping them break soul contracts that are no longer serving them. Sounds so nice. I'm so excited to be here, Rachel. Thank you for having Good. me. You are welcome. So we, 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 we have, obviously we've chatted before we've come online. We were going to talk about, um, we were going to do some healing around um, issues that you're having with fertility um, and you and I wanted to obviously we checked that you were happy to talk about this on a live video as well so what is it in particular that you would like some help with today or that you're, you're struggling with and you, 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 you could do with some healing around so I am 39 years old, first of all, okay. and I don't have any kids and I really want to be a mom at some point in my life. And I know there's lots of ways to do that. And I was in a relationship for nine years that really was not um, a great place to be. And okay. I stayed in that relationship because it was during the time in my life when I should have been having kids and I thought, well, if I leave now, then I'll be too old when I find somebody else to have kids with, or, um, you know, like this is sort of it for me. So I stayed way too long, but mm -hmm. we ended that relationship a couple of years ago and I still don't have any kids and I've never really wanted to be a single mom. Huge props to all those single parents out there. I think you're amazing. It's just not a path that I wanted to ever take. Um, and so I decided a little while ago that, well, I'm getting older, so I'm going to go and have my eggs frozen. Okay. So that'll, you know, extend the fertility a little longer. And so I went to the appointment and at the appointment, they did um, a couple of ultrasounds and things like that. And they found that I have fibroids in my uterus yep. and I actually have multiple fibroids. Um, and they're like, that's no big deal. Lots of women have fibroids. You're fine. Sometimes they even go away on their own. Not a problem. So I'm getting further along in this process. And I started having a few like issues. Um, and so I went to a surgeon and the surgeon did an MRI and some other things. And they found that one of the fibroids is impeding on my bladder, okay. um, which is the one that's causing some issues. So I'm going to have to have surgery to take those fibroids out. But all of the tests that the surgeon has ordered, um, and my surgeon is at Vanderbilt, which is a world-renowned hospital here in Nashville, and um, we have an app, 
for the hospital and it shows all of your medical records and all of the things that the doctor is ordering and the doctor's notes and the nurse's notes and all of that stuff. And so I started reading the app and I'm a lawyer. So I read stuff all the time anyway. (laughs) Yeah. And so I start reading my records and everything on the record says female infertility, infertile 39 year old, you know, all of this stuff about infertility. And I'm like, (gasps) wait, what? Nobody said I was infertile. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Do I need to be looking at other things? Like I've got to get these fibroids out. That's regardless of whether I ever have kids, but I still want to have kids. Um, And so I talked to the doctor about it and he was like, oh, that's just the way we have to write the chart. No big deal. You haven't been diagnosed, but it still is really bothersome because I'm right in the middle of this. I'm going to have surgery in a few weeks. Okay. I'm right in the middle of seeing all of these records all the time that say infertile and that really bothers me. So I need some help okay. getting past that. Okay. So it's, is it kind of a fear that comes up? Is it an anxiety? Is it kind of trying? Cause obviously when you see those words, you don't want them to sort of like um, embody in you as well for you to sort of like take that on either. Right. Yeah. I yeah. It's really bothersome because I mean, well, first of all, I stayed in that relationship for a lot longer than I should have because I yes. was concerned about it already. And okay. I'm 39. I mean, I'm, I know that I'm not going to be able to have babies a lot longer. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's, it's definitely a concern and in the back of my mind. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I, 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 have you had any healing before? I imagine you, you seem very kind of like open to the energy work. Has, have you had any before? Yes. Okay. Oh, fantastic. So, um, how, I mean, distance healing for me, when I'm healing somebody, it doesn't matter whether you're literally on the bed in my therapy room here in front of me or wherever you are, I can connect with you, with your energy, wherever you are. Um, so I will do that. And then what I also do, and, and you probably heard it, I create sounds as well. So I create sound healing. What those sounds will do is they kind of, if you can imagine when your body sort of gets out of, um, out of tune, kind of like out of harmony, that's when dis- disease and disharmony can sort of come within the body and with the emotions as well. And what the sounds help to do is to bring everything sort of back into alignment and to clear any blocks that might be, whether that's a physical, whether that's an o- emotional block within you. Um, so I don't know exactly what will happen in this session, neither do you. Um, I don't know where the energy is going to go. I don't know any of those things. We're just going to see what happens you may find that you notice it physically you may feel warmth you may feel emotional we're just gonna see what happens and um i will i will um i will pick up on where the areas that i'm working on if you want me to tell you where i'm working on at the same time would that be useful or do you want me to just do it and you just feel it you do whatever you think okay All right, we'll see. (laughs) And the people who are watching, what I want to say is if you're listening as well, I want you to close your eyes and listen as well because you may feel, you may take some healing from this as well. You may feel like the sounds are helping you as well. So just kind of like go with this session whilst, whilst, whilst we're doing this, whilst we're doing this live. Um, And um, so we're going to start. Okay. So you, you can keep, if we, but we're just pretending that nobody's watching. It's just me and you. And okay. if, you, if you're more comfortable closing your eyes, feel free to close your eyes because I probably end up closing my eyes just to concentrate as well. Um, so what I want you to do, Angela, is just, are you somewhere comfortable where you can feel like you can, you can relax? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. So just take some nice deep breaths for me. Just feel yourself settling into the space. Just feel your body starting to relax. And what I want you to do is just allow the energy to go where it needs to go today. So I'm just going to start connecting with you now. Asking that This session is for your highest good that you get exactly what you need today from this session. 
that the energy goes where it needs to go. If anything's coming up for you at all, just feel free to say if you're feeling it anywhere. making me want to cough. <laughs> I don't know if it's making you, but...
Okay, Angela. Just take some nice deep breaths for me. Just take your time to come back. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, just shake everything off. <laughs> you want to shake off? <laughs> wow, come back to us. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I feel really good. Yeah? Is there anything I, I was I was I know I was noticing, but was there anything that you particularly noticed during that? So I could feel it behind my eyes. Okay. And in my stomach. Yes. It, yeah. Okay. And um I don't know if you heard it. My stomach growled in the middle Did of it. it? And I'm not hungry. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so my stomach was growling and I could feel it in my, I could still feel it in my stomach. Yes. And then um, behind my eyes, my mind was kind of racing at the beginning. Yes. Um, you know, thinking all the thoughts and yes. then like, just sort of like a calm came over me. Good. That's, yeah. that's, that's, so when I started, it was very much kind of on that tummy area. Um, like, maybe there was some fear there or, or something. I was certainly working around the area. Then this sort of sense of kind of like bringing in a calmness to kind of like everything. Cause if, I don't know if that's what, how you've been feeling a bit like, oh. so this was almost like calming, clearing some of that stuff that was going on, that's going on in your belly. Yes. Um, and then bringing a sense of kind of like calm and this is going to be okay to, to you as well that's what I felt was was happening I don't know if you felt that's what was coming across but that's certainly what my, the intention was that was coming from me to you yes definitely I could feel it <laughs> much different than I Do did you? before okay yeah. how, how how are you noticing the difference um you know I lead kind of like a frantic life anyway I'm like always yeah. running to court or doing this or doing that and so yeah. just the calmness is good. really helpful good so if, yeah, if, if you get anything out of this, obviously this is just sort of 10 minutes. I don't want to keep you too long and I don't want the live to be too long. But if you can get anything from this, it will be a sense of calm, a sense of everything's going to sort of clearing that fear from that tummy area and that everything's it's going to be okay. Yeah, definitely. Good. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. Thank you for sharing this with you as well, because I know it's been, it's, it's not easy always to share some of these things and you've done that live as well. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Good. Thank you. Have a good day at work. Thank you very much. All See right, you later. I'll speak to you soon. Take care, Angela. Bye. Bye. Bye.